Today on Sports Cards 101 with Joe, we're talking autograph cards, dual service grading, and PSA DNA. Everything you need to know, stay tuned. Back to Sports Cards 101 with Joe, tips and tricks for collectors. Today we're talking autograph cards and we're also talking of things you can do with those autograph cards if you'd like to get them graded with PSA. There's a couple of different options. We're going to talk about the differences in using PSA DNA and using PSA dual service because it, honestly it's one uh, aspect of PSA grading that we get the most questions about because it can be very confusing. So let's start with the basics. If you've got an autographed card, we're not talking about one that was pulled from a manufacturer from a pack, but like one that you either obtained in person or you obtained it in the mail, you sent it off to the athlete and got it signed and you've got the card back in hand and you want to maximize the value or you just want to protect your investment, there's a lot of different options you've got. First of all, we get hundreds of submissions every month for PSA DNA. And I'm going to give you an example from my own collection. This is a 1962 Duke Snyder PSA DNA autograph. And this one is simply, simply says trading card, Duke Snyder, PSA DNA certified, authentic auto. So there's a division of PSA DNA that currently resides in New Jersey, where we send off autographs and they simply authenticate the card, they slab it, it's just identified as a trading card. They, it's, it's a very simplified service, they're not identifying what year it is, they're not identifying any aspects of the card, it just says trading card, it's encapsulated. Basically it's just an autograph authentication service for trading cards. And so they will encapsulate it, not only standard size cards, but larger cards as well. So here's another one from my collection. I love the old timers of Stan Musial 63 Tops. Again, encapsulated by PSA DNA, the autograph has been certified. Beautiful Stan Musial 63 Tops card. That's the kind of the entry level service. If you've got autograph cards and you just want them authenticated and you want them slabbed and you want to put them in your collection or you want to resell them and you know that you need them encapsulated because they are authentic autographs, that's kind of the entry level. You can go on our website, GotBaseballCards.com, click the PSA DNA link and you will see the pricing there. Uh, that's a great service, very popular. But we have many on some of the higher dollar cards, especially like modern high-end autographs where collectors want to step up to what PSA calls their dual service. And the dual service is where it can get really confusing because you can take a card, dual means we're grading the card and we're grading the autograph on the card. You know, the quality of the autograph on a one to 10 scale, just like the cards are graded. So where it can get confusing is you can send in a card and say, I want to grade the autograph and grade the card. So the card will have two different grades on it. You can also send it in and say, no, I know I just want the card authenticated and I want the autograph authenticated. So then the card will come back from PSA and it'll say, you know, it'll identify the card and say authentic. And then the autograph, it'll say PSA DNA certified authentic. So that's called an authentic, authentic grade. And the first option we talked about is the grade grade, where they grade the card and grade the auto. Of course, we also have some collectors who will mix it up and say, authenticate the card, but grade the auto. Maybe it's a low grade card. Say you've got a 62 Mickey Mantle in, ter in poor condition, but it's autographed. So you simply want the card authenticated. So in that case, the card would come back. The card would be authenticated, but the auto would be graded on a one to 10 scale. So that's authentic slash grade. Then you can flip that. You can grade the card. Say the cards and say you've got a 62 Mickey Mantle again, really high grade, but the autograph is smeared. So you're going to get a low auto grade. So in that case, you would request to grade the card and only authenticate the auto. 
So you've really got four different versions when it comes to dual service grading. We handle all of them and as part of our service, we even help recommend which of those four options are best for your cards when you send them in. I was just invoicing a customer this morning who had a number of dual service cards and we split it up as to, you know, this one you should grade both, this one you should authenticate one and grade the other, depending on the quality of either the card or the auto. So here's some that we just got back for a submitter where we've got two different batches here where I'm going to show the differences. First of all, we've got some where the submitter simply wanted us to authenticate the card and grade the autograph. We start with a nice 2022 Tops Living Jeremy Pena, which just they just authenticated the card, but it's a really nice auto, so you got a 10 autograph grade on the autograph. We've got, after that, we've got a 2019 Tops Allen Ginner Dennis Eckersley, where, again, authenticate card, grade the auto. Authenticated the card, grade the auto. Card graded, excuse me, uh, autograph grade, which was an autograph grade of a nine on the Eckersley. This is a beauty here. Nolan Ryan, 2020 Tops Allen Ginner. Again, not a big dollar card, so they didn't worry about grading the card, but they did grade the auto. Here we've got authentic card and a PSA 10 grade on the autograph. So again, here are a few examples of authenticating the card and grading the autograph. So, so if you sent that in, you'd tell us, you know, authenticate card, but grade the auto. Now, what we grade the mo what we see the most often is when collectors send us and they want both card and auto graded. So we start off here with a really cool 2009 SP game used James Harden rookie number 69 out of 100. This card got a nine, nine grade on the card and a 10 grade on the autograph. So great looking rookie card of Harden. And that's a perfect example of a card where the card's in high grade and the autograph's in high grade. So this is a mint grade on the card and a gem mint grade on the autograph. Let's follow that up with a Jeremy Vargas 2022 Bowman Chrome Prospect Auto Yellow Refractor numbered out of 75. Same thing, mint grade on the card and a 10 grade on the auto. Mint grade on the card. So again, dual service, grade card, grade auto. Now, what will happen is if you have a card, say you've got a pack pulled autograph and you just send it through the normal bulk service with PSA, it just gets a straight grade. You know, it'll be a nine or it'll 10, it'd be a 10. And that's inclusive of whatever the autograph is. So to maximize the value, you like if you've got a card, let, let's say you've got this Vargas card and it just got a mint nine, you send it to regular bulk service and it just got a mint nine. Typically, that's not going to sell as well as one that you've sent in where you're getting a 10 on the autograph grade because that will bring a premium. Now, the further you go back, the more you're going to see this discrepancy. On modern cards, you're not going to see a huge difference necessarily, but say you've got a you know, 73 Hank Aaron and you send it in and it's signed. Now, obviously, that was not a pack pulled autograph, so you couldn't send that on normal service, but that card, any old Aaron card, we just sold, if I remember correctly, a 61 Hank Aaron uh, that was dual serviced with an auto grade. And I believe it sold, if my recollection is right, $832. Because it's a big deal for these Hall of Fame players to sign their original Topps cards. So those are really great, uh, great cards to send in to get dual service on. I'm seeing if we've got a... Uh, Here's another sweet one. Now, this is a Griffey Jr. Griffey Jr. 2003 Upper Deck Game Jersey Auto 8 Card Grade 8. So, classic card. Of course, I love Griffey. Love uh, that he was in the steroid area, excuse me, steroid era, but was clean and had a tremendous number of home runs and just, uh, he, he was, uh, you know, when I, when I got back into collecting in 87, it was only two years away from Griffey came along, and uh, he, he was the guy who, 
He was one of the guys that helped drive the sales in the hobby in the, in the late 80s, early 90s. And so this is a beautiful card. Again, not a great grade, 8-8 eight, eight on that dual service card. I was checking if we got any 10-10s on this batch. It looks like there's multiple 9-10s. We got a sweet Jalen Green, Crown Royale, number out of 49. Jalen Green, Crown Royale, numbered out of 49. We've got a 9 grade on the card and a 10 grade on the auto. So again, we get asked about this. Jim, uh, for those of you who call us in and talk to Jim, handles our customer service, he constantly gets questions about dual service because it's very confusing to say, oh, do you want to do dual service? Because you've really got to ask the next question like, well, you've got four more options just if you choose dual service. And that's if you didn't choose PSA DNA. So Hopefully, I've given you a little bit of explanation here. Again, the most common thing and what we normally recommend if it's a clean auto, especially on ultra modern cards from the last few years, if the card's you know going to be a 9 or 10 and it's got a clean auto, then grade grade is your best option to maximize your value and long-term investment potential. Uh, with the older stuff, it gets a little dicier because we've got to weigh the condition of the card and the condition of the autograph. But that's what we're here to do. You know, whether it's dual service cards, whether it's PSA DNA, whether you just need help and you don't know which company to use, whether you're confused as to should I use PSA or BGS or SGC or CSG, we work with all of them. We have for decades. We've been a group submitter with PSA dating back to 1998. BGS since 1999 when they launched BGS grading. We've been working with SGC since 1998 and we've been working with CSG since they launched their company. So we work with the big four in the industry. We have great relationships with all of them. We submit large volumes of cards for all of them. So most lately we've been submitting the most to PSA and SGC, but on any given day we could get several hundred in the door for BGS or CSG. So we're here to help you. You go to our website, we make it really simple. You can download submission forms from any of the companies. We've got explanations on there. And if you can't figure it out, that's what we're here for. Give us a call, shoot us an email. If you're following on social media, you can message us there and we'll be happy to help you out. So again, dual service grading, it can be confusing, but that's what we're here to do. We're here to do the heavy lifting for you. Figure out the logistics. We are, you know, we're the logistic managers for this industry and service providers for the industry. So we're here to help you out. Whatever your questions are, we'd love to see your comments. If you've got questions or you want to hear other videos, ways we can help provide more tips and tricks for collectors, we're here for you. So thanks for watching and we will see you next time.